Hello, this is Toshnika, and welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install mods for Kerbal Space Program with CCAN. So the first thing you need to do, obviously, is to install CCAN. So we're going to take the latest release, obviously. So, yeah. What installer do you want? Auto update or EXE is if you want to update your thing automatically on Windows. There's no equivalent for Mac or Linux, sadly. CCAN.RPM is for Fedora based Linux. CCAN.DMG is for Mac. CCAN.EXE is for Windows. And the one I want is CCAN.DEB, which is for Debian based Linux. So I am going to download this. Now, there is a dependency that you'll have to install for CCAN. I've already done it, but you basically need to install Mono Complete or, well, mono devout in this case, but basically if you have Ubuntu 18.04 or any of its derivatives, you run these commands first, or if you have Ubuntu 16.04 or any of its derivatives, you run this. If you're on Mac OS or Windows, you actually have to download an installer, so yeah, I prefer the Linux method because I'm a command line man. Anyway, um, here, oops, here is our CCAN thing, so we double click it to run the installer, and uh, since I've already installed it, I actually uninstalled it, but all the dependencies are already satisfied, normally it will ask you for to other dependencies, but yeah, anyway, we're going to install the package. Enter your password. I don't actually know what this procedure would be like on Windows, but I assume it would be similar. And now it's installed. And now we can go to our menu and look up CCAN. And here we can pop open CCAN. And it will <coughs> start scanning for DLCs and any mods you've installed manually, update its repositories and all that. It will automatically select any KSP instance in the default Steam install location. You can ask it if you want to refresh the mod list every time it's loaded. I personally don't want to, but yeah, there's also a manual refresh button. Anyway, you can search mods, like say I wanted the Interstellar Extended. I can search for that, but anyway, how do you install a mod? It's actually really simple. You click the check mark next to the box, or you click, you check the box next to the name, and boom. Now you have to hit apply changes. It'll tell you the mods that are going to be installed. It will give you suggestions and recommendations. You can check, uncheck them, and then you can continue and it will start installing your stuff. This of course takes some time because well, KSP mods can be quite big. For instance, the one I chose, Interstellar Extended, is quite a large mod, so yeah, maybe I could have been a little smarter about this. Anyway, I will be back once finished installing. Anyway, as you can see, your mods have downloaded. All the changes are applied. I don't actually use the launch KSP option from CCAN because I think it launches the 60 or the 32-bit version rather. So I made a handy desktop shortcut. I'll show you the path. It's home your user dot steam slash steam app slash common slash kerbal space program slash ksp.x8664 this is to launch the 64-bit version which you will want if you are playing with mods um, so yeah I'm just going to use this desktop shortcut I made I've already set up my KSP stuff so it's full screen and everything but yeah how will you tell if your mod installation has succeeded well first of all you'll get these allow these add-ons to check for updates I usually say yes to this because, come on, who doesn't want his or her, her mods getting updated? 
Anyway, the way you'll tell is you'll get this module manager thing that'll say that the patches have been applied. Patches are basically the parts and other files from the mod. So yeah, now you know how to install your KSP mods with CCAN. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.